Hi, I've been here with Amtex Equipment. Next to me is one of the latest production and shipment of Inferno Stack 3047. Inferno Stack was first created in 2010 and truly became one of our best seller in design of truck mounts. Now this design used to be built in different horsepower, but one of the most popular horsepower that we built is the one you're looking at, which is a 30 horsepower power and a 4.7 blower. An 80 gallon recovery tank in the back with exterior filter housing. And of course on the top, you do see a Hypro 2345B-V, an almost five gallon positive displacement pump charging enough flow of water through these two massive heat exchangers. These are the largest heat exchangers that we've been able to put out and the hottest one there that we have ever been able to build after building hundreds of truck mounts. Now, design of our truck mounts is always flexible. They could be changed. Stuff need to be added, it can be added to it. And also, it all depends what our customer wants. So they're not limited to what we design uh, the main designs are basically done by us, but there's always uh, uh, areas where the customer needs some different components to be added. One of the unique things that this last customer uh, added to their design was a pump-out system. This is the same pump-out that we use on our Marine 40 horse and Dragon 40 horse. It is a fully stainless steel centrifugal pump from Hypro, capable of pumping out 89 gallon per minute at up, up to 120 psi. At the same time, it is controlled by a clutch. In other words, e even though it is driven off the shaft of the engine with a six to five pulley ratio, giving the um, pump 3,600 RPM, at the same time, engine running at 80% of its capacity, which is 3,000 or 3,100, but it can remain off, unless if the operator decides to do a pump out because they're doing a big job, which of course, your APO switch is in the far left, and you do have a flow control valve right here. Even though the, the pump do puts out 89 gallon up to even 120 PSI, but you can control the flow. So you'll be able to even slowly pump the water in some of the restricted uh, 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 areas that you're allowed. Now, as far as the main design of it, nothing really has been changed except as I have brought you in the prior videos, a slide plate, which makes your life really easy when it comes to coupling change. Even though the machine looks really compact and hard to work on, but it is extremely simple to remove your engine, to pull it back, to change your coupling, as I have uh, shown it in a prior video, showing a, a coupling change of a blue stack by loosening the two unions and the four mounting uh, nuts on each side. You'll be able to shift the engine forward, change the coupling within a few minutes and go on with your life. Now, all of our design of truck mounts they are really self-explanatory when it comes to their installations. In other words, they all come in with the unit separate from the tank. So it's just a matter of disconnecting a vacuum hose or a couple of discharge hoses and you'll be able to separate this tank. And because they all come in with a forklift pockets now beneath them, you'll be able to lift any, any of our machine with any kind of mid-size or uh, small size for, uh, forklift and install them inside of a carrying vehicle. Now, when it comes to stack design, because of its shape, it kind of makes a person in a kind of thinking it would be extremely hard to separate this machine prior to installation. But I'm about to explain to you how easy it is. Now, as far as installation of it, this unit, all of our units come bolted to the carrying pallets. Those are the heavy duty pallets that we do order for the safety of the machine in transportation. So the only two sides of um, uh, wrenches you're going to need is going to be 916 and 78 to separate the whole entire areas when you need to separate the machine from the uh, the, uh, the main frame. Now, if you really look at it, let's get to the, let's get back to how we're going to take this baby apart to install it. The if you if you bring the camera all the way to the right, you'll be able to see the whole entire machine is in one piece. You do have your main console on top, which contains your engine blower pump and your heat exchangers, sitting on top of a main skeleton which this skeleton of chassis is extended all the way to the back to carry the, pump, uh, to carry the tank. Now, bringing the, uh, the camera around, again, you can see everything is all installed in the main chassis. Now, in order to get this baby prepped 
prior to installation. There is only a few areas that you need to disconnect. Number one, the main 90 gallon fresh water tank needs to be pulled out, which is extremely simple by using two 916 wrenches. You'll be able to, first of all, separate your um, uh, uh, ma uh, machine from the pallet. And if we come here, you'll be able to see there's two bolts that are holding the front panel and on the right, the same, same size bolts using a 916. Now let's say we have removed the front panel. We're ready to pull the fresh water tank out because we want to be able to lift this baby up. There's an area where this machine is connected to the tank through its 12 DC pump, which is attached to the main frame. It's just a, a simple clamp right here. This is how you connect it. And to separate it by pushing the clamp up, you'll be able to pull this filter out. There is no reason for you to pull this out because it is tightly fit. This is in case if your tank is gonna be completely full and you're driving, we don't want any kind of leakage coming into your vehicle. That's why this ho uh, hose has been drilled precisely to the outer diameter of this hose. Now by having this uh, filter simply hanging here, as you pull the tank out, it's gonna come, it's gonna move to the back so you will not get stuck in any corners. Bring the camera all the way to the far left back of the machine. You'll be able to see another small hose, which is called the recycle hose, which allows a little bit of water out of the two of the C pump back into the fresh water tank to kind of keep the pump cool. Uh, you can, which this, this part of it comes in when we're gonna be doing a video showing how to, how to run the machine. And the last part will be this hose. Now this hose, you use a seven eight wrench to simply loosen it. Now what is this hose? This hose, it is where you connect your garden hose, any kind of supply hose to the machine to fill this tank. So by separating this main hose, the front panel to be removed, the filter to the back and the far left that the small hose. Now, because the panel is off, the best area to lift this machine as far as forklift, let's say my hands are forklift, as far as inserting the forklift, you need to at least insert the for forklift about 36 inches inward towards the uh, underneath the machine. But having the center of the forklift to be this edge right here to be in the center of the forklift, so lifting from here will be the safest. Now, as if I if you bring the camera here, as the let me turn my flashlight around here and then kind of get you guys, help you guys. This is the main frame, same frame that you can see the part of it outside. By, by inserting the forklift all the way level past the battery, about 36 inches, we'll go to the left side, we're gonna see how we're gonna, where the forklift is gonna end up, right here with a, again, because most of the weight of the machine, it is towards the front section of it, from here on, because, which is the engine, blower, pumps, heat exchangers, pump out silencers, main friends, and what have you. By inserting the um, fork about 36, 36 inches into the frame, you should have a safe pickup. Now, as you're picking up the uh, machine, simply insert it or enter it into the um, vehicle, trailer, whatever you're going to be installing it. Use the same type of holes that we have drilled for you and they do come with uh, fasteners, bolts, and extra different sizes of bolts for you to be able to do your own installation. Now, once the machine is installed, is where you will insert the tank back, you put the cover back on, you come back here, again, you put your filter for your 12DC pump in, you push the clamp inside, let's see. Right there, it's done. And remember, Let's say you would have taken this hose up, put it back in. And of course the final would be connecting your uh, incoming water, the sub tank fill, and putting your panel back on. Now, this was a short video showing you some of the changes that we have done to our latest design of the uh, stack. Our uh, stacks could be, any of our truck one could be designed either with pump out, with generator on board, that pretty much shows the flexibility of our design and flex equipment, the truck mounts, that we can build them to your requirement. However, this was a short video showing you the latest production and shipment of the um, uh, Inferno Stack 3047. I want to thank you for joining me. I'm looking forward to see you in the next video, next portion of this video, 
showing the power of this baby in action. Until then, we'll see each other. Thank you.